Lindsey Graham is traveling the world concern trolling about Trump's potential troop drawdowns in Syria and Afghanistan. Now, to be clear, that's not a given. Trump is reducing the number of troops in Afghanistan from 14,000 to 7,000. Wow, you still have 7,000 troops there. Obama did that, Bush did that, the up-down, the yo-yo effect with the troop levels. To give a lot of credit over that, it's just not, you shouldn't do that because he doesn't deserve it. Um, now in regards to Syria, at first he said we're getting out quickly, then him and Bolton came out and said, I didn't say quickly, and then now who the fuck knows, uh, he might privatize it and send in Blackwater, which would be a worst case scenario, so it's just a mess. But either way, Lindsey Graham is so outraged at the fact that we might draw down that look at what's happening. Mediaite says, Lindsey Graham, Trump's sudden Syria withdrawal may lead to Iraq on steroids. This is like the last fallback argument of the pathetic neocon warhawk. This is the last argument that they make. Oh, but if we pull out of these places, chaos will ensue. Mm. Now, here's why that argument pisses me off more than you can imagine. Because if they really were being, if they really cared about that, like, oh my God, all I care about is if the, these societies are going to lose order. What are we doing? Well, then, Lindsay, you would have never been in favor of going into them in the first place. Because that's what led to the most chaos. Did you know Al-Qaeda was not in Iraq before we invaded? And then when we invaded, Al-Qaeda went into Iraq. Obviously, Saddam Hussein did not attack us on 9-11, did not have weapons of mass destruction, had no plans to attack us. So we did an offensive war against a country that didn't attack us. And now Lindsey Graham's concerns are like, oh, when we drew down in Iraq, that was the problem. No, the problem is that when we went in there in the first place. See, they just, like, they start their reasoning at a line that's historically convenient for their position they already hold, which is, I love more war. You see what they do? So now it's like, oh, but if we pull out of Syria, what about the chaos that'll ensue? What about the chaos we created by being there and arming and funding rebels who were jihadists? What about that chaos? What about the chaos of us backing, of there being Pentagon-backed rebels fighting CIA-backed rebels? What about that chaos? What about the chaos of officially being against Assad and against many factions of the rebels? Uh, what about that chaos, being on both sides of the same goddamn civil war? What about the chaos of wasting billions of dollars getting involved in this? What about the chaos of this violating international law? and not getting approval through Congress, which violates the U.S. Constitution. What about that chaos? You didn't care about that chaos because you're working backwards from your conclusion, and your conclusion is more war is always the answer. So it's amazing how, like, he clutches his pearls and gets the most outraged that, oh, he might draw down in Syria and Afghanistan. The horror! The horror is that we've been in Afghanistan for 17 years, dipshit. That's the horror. At, Lindsey Graham, first of all, he ran for president. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, he got like negative 32 votes. But he was asked in, a, I think it was a CNBC interview. So when do we get out? And he literally said, you don't get out. In this case, he was talking about Iraq. But, you know, fill in the blank. Could be Syria, Afghanistan. He's not in favor of leaving any of these places. He said, you don't get out. The dude ran for president on the mantle of, you don't get out. And then he wonders why he lost by fucking 18 quadrillion votes. Maybe that's why, Lindsay. Maybe your ideology is not popular. You know, maybe we, we live in what's supposed to be a constitutional republic and a representative democracy. So you're supposed to listen to your constituents? Maybe that? No, of course not. He wants endless, endless, endless war. As we have uh, no clean water in Flint, Michigan, infrastructure gets a grade of D+. Plus. Working people in this country are crushed. 29 million people without health care. He is doing a speaking tour where he's saying, how dare President Trump draw down? No, Lindsey Graham, how dare you have your same idiotic position for decades when there's been no positive outcome, and in fact, it's made this country and our government, in many instances, terrorists.